the next homologacies that we're going to try and name are called alcohols and uh, uh, we've briefly previously uh, learned how to draw the structure of an alcohol and alcohol has uh, this o and h functional group which is attached to a molecule let's say the molecule is r so this o h functional group This OH functional group is generally present in all in all alcohols, and we also um, the rest of the molecule could be a carbon chain, it could be anything. But if there's an OH group present, then it would be an alcohol. We, I'll give you a few examples of an alcohol first. Uh, there's an OH. OH is generally written together. The O and H bond is generally not shown unless it is you're asked to draw a fully displayed structure in which you you're asked to draw all the bonds. So this is one example of an of an alcohol. Now uh, for an alcohol, the name uh, is going to start off with uh, the prefix is always going to be the same. It's the starting name depends on the number of carbon atoms that are present in, in the molecule. So the starting name uh, depends on the number of carbon atoms. Uh, whereas uh, the ending name or the latter name is going to be it's it's always going to be the suffix or the name is going to end with this it's going to end with uh, a n o l for example if you have if you have a molecule with one carbon atom uh, one carbon atom we already studied that if um, if uh, there's a chain which has one carbon atom then the starting name is going to start off with meth and the ending name, if it's an alcohol, would be A N O L would be followed. So it's the name is going to be methanol. So we're going to do a few examples. Uh, let's draw methanol. So it's a molecule which has one carbon atom. So let's draw it over here. There's one carbon atom, and there would be an O and H functional group attached to it. And the rest of the this carbon atom is supposed to make four bonds, so it's already making two bonds. So there would be two more bonds with two more hydrogen atoms. So this is this is the structure of methanol. Similarly, we can draw a few more alcohols. Uh, we have uh, a three carbon atom alcohol. And uh, let's say there's an OH group attached at the very end. This carbon atom is going to have two more bonds with hydrogen so that it has four bonds. This one is also going to have, uh, it's going to have two more bonds with hydrogen. This also has, uh, it has three more bonds with hydrogen because it's, uh, it's only making, uh, it was only, only making one bond before. So the name of this molecule, it has three carbon atoms. So the name would start off with prop followed by, since it's an alcohol, the name would end with uh, ANOL, which is propanol. Now, um, there are a few problems which are encountered when you when you're dealing with uh, alcohols or you're naming alcohols. And one of those problems is the position of the functional group. So let's say we have, uh, now this is one example of propanol. Now the problem would be that let's draw another propanol molecule. And there are three carbon attached, attached to this one. Now the functional group, it's not necessary that the functional group is attached to the, at the very end. It could be in the center as well. So you can have uh, OH, group in the, in the in uh, at exactly the center so if it's present in the center and let me draw all the other bonds this would be making four bonds so there would be another hydrogen atom this would also have another three more hydrogen atoms attached to it and this would also have three more hydrogen atoms attached to it now the name the starting name would still be prop 
because there are three carbon atoms in this particular molecule and the latter name or the ending name of the suffix is is uh, is going to be a n o l now the only problem is uh, this is uh, the suffix is there because it's an alcohol now the only problem is that you need to put you need to put the position uh, of the oh group the oh group is attached it's not attached at the end if you look at the carbon chain and you count the carbon chain from either end then the position of the oh group the position of the oh group if i count from the right hand side this would be carbon number 1 and this would be carbon number 2 so the oh group is attached at the second carbon atom whereas if i count from the left hand side the oh group is still attached to this this would be carbon number 1 and this would be carbon number 2 so from either end the position of the oh group is is coming out to be 2 so when you're naming an alcohol you have to explicitly tell that where exactly is the oh attached to so so the name of this molecule it's still a propanol but but you would have to write so after propen there there would be a gap in which you're going to write down the position so the oh group is attached to the second carbon atom so let's revise this this was there because it's in it's an alcohol the name would always end with uh, an ol and prop was there because it had three carbon atoms and this two is there this two basically tells us it tells us the position of it tells us the position of the oh group So this is how an alcohol is going to be named. You have the same problem as with alkenes. In alkenes, when you're naming alkenes, you have to tell the position of the carbon double bond carbon. And if you're naming alcohols, you have to tell the position of the OH group, which is the functional group for an alcohol. Let's do a few more examples. Let's uh, let's draw a slightly more complicated molecule. Let's say I have I have four carbon atoms. and there is an oh group attached to this carbon atom and the rest of the molecule is they all hydrogens so the rest of the molecule is all hydrogens and if you look at this molecule how many carbon atoms do you have you have a total of You have a total of four carbon atoms, so the name would start with but. So, uh, since it has, it has four carbon atoms, and the name and the position of the OH group. Now, this is tricky. I already told you that uh, counting is always done from the side, where you get the smaller number. So, if I count from the right, from the sorry, from the left hand side. This is carbon number one. This is carbon number two, and this would be carbon number three. So from the left hand side, I'm the position of the OH group is three. But from the right hand side, this is carbon number one, and this would be carbon number two. So I'm going to choose the right hand side. The reason is that I'm getting a smaller number from the right hand side. So the name is going to be butane, and then there would be a dash followed by another dash, and it would be butane two. all so this is the name of this particular uh alcohol we can do another example let's do another example uh i will now draw a five carbon atom alcohol and let's uh and let's say the the oh group is attached uh, it's attached to this particular carbon atom and uh, remember whenever you are attaching an oh group to a carbon chain o is the one that's going to be attached because it's o that is supposed to make two bonds so it's going to be making one bond with hydrogen and one bond with carbon the hydrogen atom must always be on the 
other side. So you have OH, I have attached OH on this carbon atom and the rest of uh, the bonds I'll complete by attaching hydrogen atoms. So I have all these hydrogen atoms attached to it. Now if I count the total number of carbon atoms, I'll try to name this, the total number of carbon atoms, it comes out to be 5. It's 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, which means that the name would start off with, with pent, which indicates that there are 5 carbon, carbon atoms in this particular chain. And uh, I have to write the position of this OH group and if I come from the, from the left hand side, this is carbon number 1, this would be carbon number 2, this is 3 and this is 4. So from the left hand side, the number, the number of the OH group or the carbon atom on which it is attached comes out to be 4. Whereas from the right hand side, if I count the number of carbon atom, this is carbon number 1 and this comes out to be carbon number so I'll choose the side which from which I get the smaller number so it's uh, the name of this particular molecule is going to be pentin 2 all I'll choose 2 because from the right hand side I get a smaller number so this molecule is pentin 2 all